So this will be the lineage, the monarchy, the queen, Charles, William. Hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I don't know, it just seemed like time for a roundup. There's been some crazy stuff being said about the Queen's uh, concern uh, for the uh, well-being of William and Catherine and the kids, uh, primarily because they're the heir. And um, so it's pretty interesting um, to go at it from that uh, point of view. So uh, the Queen, um, her son Charles, and uh, Prince William. So yeah, I mean, I, what was it about that the, the Queen didn't care for William and Catherine and the whole family flying on the same helicopter uh, when they would go to the, uh, their, their other home? I don't want to say the wrong name because I'll get it wrong and everybody will be upset. But um, yeah, there was some concern about that. And then George, uh, George, I'm sorry, Prince Charles, uh, you know, they wonder, you know, he wants to slim this monarchy down and he's going to make some changes and what are they going to be and how are they going to affect everybody and uh, who's going to have a job and who's not going to have a job. And then William, he's looking at all this happen ahead of him and saying, oh, geez what in the world are they doing but I've got to remain calm and look uh, in charge although these people are, are messing everything up so yeah what about all of that okay so these are again some amazing cards the touchstone tarot by Cat Black who's an Australian artist she lives in on the western uh, southwestern I think part of Australia but the box is so great you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that the instruction booklet is um, is very good as a matter of fact it's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards. I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork. And all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Okay, so we'll just get started. But first, just a couple of seconds of um, meditation. And now, let's get to the meat of the whole thing. So the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William, the Queen, uh, oh, and uh, Harry and Meghan. So here's the deal. So the Queen is worried about the uh, Cambridges all riding in the same helicopter, which is a practice they've started taking to, for, uh, to make things easy. And um, because uh, if the Cambridges get wiped out, if Prince uh, William and uh, all of his heirs for the Dyna helicopter crash. Um, guess who's up? Harry. And um, and then Archie. So, yeah. So some folks hadn't thought that through. I hadn't thought it through until I just read it. So the Queen's concern for the lineage. And, um, and it's interesting. If you think back about how the Queen got her place, she was always going to be Queen. Uh, her father's brother, of course, advocated for the American divorcee. But uh, he was... Uh, even if he had been allowed to marry her, he didn't have any children at all. And uh, she was at an age, wasn't at childbearing age anymore anyway. And so he uh, had no heirs. Even if he had kept the throne, he would have no heirs. And it would have gone to his brother's eldest qualifying child, which is Elizabeth. So no matter what, Elizabeth was always going to be queen. 
So folks don't often think about that uh, either. So let's see, what is the question? So Queen Elizabeth, are those true concerns you have about uh, uh, William and the family getting uh, hurt on a helicopter? Just three cards. So one, two, three. Is that true? Okay, how could the cards uh, let us know about that? The signifier card for that then is the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands is short-term planning. So, you know, uh, yeah, it would certainly uh, cause an interruption in the plans. The uh, second card for this then is the Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man is uh, introspection, kind of being uh, in a spot uh, that you feel um, that you can't move on, but just not, the Hangman is not usually considered a, a deadly position to be in. It's just a stall, okay? So a stall. So yeah, if there was something to interrupt the plans, there would be a stall. And then uh, the final card of this is the moon, secrets being revealed. So I don't know really how this all works together. The moon, secrets being revealed, so uh, things would come out into the open that perhaps uh, someone, rather they didn't uh, do that. This woman even seems to have a type of crown uh, on her, and... Um, so it's very interesting. She's actually holding that crab, uh, representing those, you know, the, that unknown uh, crawling out of the deep. I think we need another card at least. So the queen, um, is she actually concerned about this helicopter stuff? And then the five of wands, argy bargy. Well, then I'm going to say no because I mean, probably her common sense is telling her it should be, you know, they shouldn't be doing this, and it just makes common sense for them you know, not to behave that way. Uh, everybody running in the same craft, but. Um, I think she understands, too, that uh, the monarchy will continue in the way it's supposed to, uh, no matter how we think we might be intervening. So that was uh, just a little sample on the queen and her concern for everybody riding in the helicopter. Now I want to think about um, Charles and uh, Harry, Charles and, and Harry's situation. Is that really... I mean, is there, is there something under the underneath there that we don't know about? Is it not as bad as it is? But I kind of think it is because I think Charles seems to be one of those people who holds a grudge. He's not his mother, the queen. I mean, she had to learn early on to reserve her opinion. And Charles has just been kind of a spoiled brat, really. Um, and uh, almost always somehow his opinion gets expressed. So not the most regal uh, choice for monarch, but... They haven't always been the most regal choices, have they? So uh, Charles and Harry, is that really under Charles's skin, the Harry situation? One, two, three. Is that really almost like unforgivable forgivable for Charles about Harry? First card off is temperance. Okay, so yeah, finding a balance, uh, making sure uh, this uh, uh, hasn't affected something one way or the other. So that's a good card to start this out with, expressing some temperance that he may have for all of this. The next card out is the five of coins is being left out in the cold. Certainly that was the, the case. It seems as if this stuff escalated so quickly that the decision probably seemed like a snap decision to Charles, uh, who uh, takes these typically uh, English long decisions, whereas uh, Megan was driving the, uh, the car and the Harry thing, and it all happened pretty fast. So, and then the uh, final outcome of this is, yeah, the Four of Cups is typically being offered some sort of an emotional, uh, uh, compassionate offer that, you know, you really don't want. He doesn't want that. So, yeah, it is bothering him to the extent that I just described right there. And then William, I want to know if um, he really is looking up at all of this family drama and thinking, man, they're just, all, why can't they all just not do any of this and not cause all this uh heart break uh, this ill concern that I'm sure he's having so but I think the key to that his uh, grandmother learned was that uh, life is going to happen and you just better be ready to actually not react you know our instinct is to say let's react when something happens but I think the genius uh, that uh, Queen Elizabeth brought to the monarchy was uh, letting the action uh, lead you you know seeing where this is going before you jump to make an action Keeping a foot uh, back, actually, that's how she used to behave with the government, and it seems to be the way it works for her family, too. So, Prince William, three cards. One, are you actually really concerned about this, these goings-on with Harry and uh, Prince Charles? Are you really concerned about uh, your uh, what you might inherit? 
the sun, okay, so he is the sun, actually, the son of Charles. Uh, he is the shining sun of the monarchy, and so he is the promise of the future, and that is kind of what the sun is, so that's a good signifier. The next card out of the stack is King of Cups, so yeah, okay, probably he understands he has to be the king uh, with all the compassion, all the emotion that he can muster for whatever's crawling out of this damn pie right here, okay? And then the final card for that is uh, this Four Cups, just like Charles. I love when the cards repeat. But yeah, um, yeah, it's not something you'd rather have it some other way. But uh, he recognizes he has to take what's uh, what's put up on the plate. Now let's do just for the queen. Just for the queen, uh, is she going to stick it out uh, until um, she is the longest reigning monarch? I think that's another year or two to to get to that point. So let's see. Will the queen? lasted out to be the longest reigning monarch in history or recent history anyway okay and six cards we may stop at the end of this or might go on to a celtic cross we'll just see queen elizabeth will she be the longest reigning monarch in in recent history uh so four swords okay this is very interesting because this is you know, swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. That certainly is everything that the monarchy should stand for. And uh, this uh, card shows a soldier really resting on his uh, sarcophagus. It, apparently, um, there's a myth that uh, so, uh, knights of the day uh, might have their uh, final resting place all prepared because when you went off to battle, you never knew if you were going to come back alive or need or need the, or need the sarcophagus. And so this shows a knight kind of resting on his uh, his final resting place, considering uh, what needs to be done. He has some protection right here. He has some some danger up here if he gets up too soon so it's reflection and uh, this certainly couldn't better describe the queen she's on her last part of service and uh, and she understands the uh, caution that, that it requires but she has uh, the strength somehow to uh, understand that the uh, challenge to that to uh, whether she will make it as the longest reigning monarch in our current in, in their history so this is the queen of cups so, and of course this is easy to say that it's everything she's bringing to her reign the uh even though it may not seem like it this queen of cups okay she's a queen of compassion emotion she, you would think this would show a very um excited looking queen but no she's got she's steely faced she's calm she's she's containing herself okay and uh, so that's why i say that's such a, a good representation of uh the queen right now and the base of this reading then uh is the uh eight of cups so the eight of cups is turning away from something yeah she's at the end she's going to turn away from all those trophies all those worldly uh, possessions which include her children um that make a person happy uh and uh, go on to something else and then the past of this reading with the page of coins is you know i always say coins are a value they could be money but really they're mostly value and uh, the page is just you know the introduction to the royal court so he's the least uh, uh significant person there so he's just bringing a message of this you know this you know decent piece of value uh to this table so that's what uh the queen has learned is only the only thing she can depend on is that uh, innate uh, sense of value that she certainly must have or have developed and in the sky of this reading with the king of wands okay so actions given everything else she she still has to be the absolute complete here she's the queen of cups but in 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 the higher uh uh, aspect of this, she has to remain the king of the plans, of the actions, of the forward movement of what's happening uh, with that uh, monarchy. So, then for the likely outcome, temperance, again, just like it told us in Charles's reading, yeah, finding that right balance, that right mix on so many levels. So, yeah, she's, um, oh, but it didn't really tell us if she's going to uh, last it out. So, I'm going to have to get four more cards. This so far has just really described uh, how she's doing her job. Um, the self of that question, will she last it out? Oh, look at this, seven of wands. This is defending yourself against uh, plans or actions uh, that are up against you. And this woman looks very well, uh, it looks like a woman to me, very well uh, capable of defending those actions, even if they might eventually overtake her. The uh, environment that that's in then is this queen of coins. Okay, she she is, she does understand her true, complete value and, and it may not be the the king of coins but she certainly is the queen of coins and then the uh, hopes of the fears of this would be the partnership you know, finding the right partnership to uh in her son uh to be able to move this uh, monarchy along and then um which is a a luxury that she has that her father and she didn't have um and then the uh, 
like the outcome of this uh, in the Tool of Cups is actually finding that partnership, finding that uh, emotional balance, and being able to move it on uh, to uh, the natural conclusion, which is Charles becoming the uh, king. So um, does that mean that she will last it out? I think maybe she will. Let's look at it again. So she she's represented here as a four swords, really a cautious knight. Okay, and then this challenged by the fact that she's also the queen of uh, emotions in this uh, situation. And the Eight of Cups is really having to turn around, turn away from all that emotional value that you're leaving behind in your worldly soul or, or self. And uh, the Page of Cups just showing us that there is some value that's coming to this, although it's diminished from what maybe it was in the past. Uh, the King of Wands just tells us that the Queen understands that she has to uh, aim to be the one who is making this plan, showing this action, leading the way forward. And then the uh, likely outcome of that was finding that balance at temperance. And will she last uh, as the longest serving monarch? She's got what it takes to do it. Now, to say it wouldn't overcome her, but she's got what it takes to do it. And with Queen of Coins, again, just reinforcing her value. And then uh, the lovers here finding the uh, right partnership to get that along. And that may be like a companioning with all those in uh, senior royals to carry out the lesser important duties while she makes this uh, happen. And the Two of Cups is finding that true uh, match. So yeah, I think she probably she will. She probably will make it just. Well, I guess time will tell. I mean, we have no way of knowing how this will really come out, so but stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.